Welcome back to my channel, Divinely Guided Tarot. If you're new here, my name is Angel and I'm here to bring you another general collective energy reading. This message could be for all signs, so please remember to take only what message that resonates with your particular situation. Leave the rest behind. And as always, guys, thank you so very much for everything that you do to help this channel grow. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. I love each and every one of you. All right, guys, let's go ahead and call in the Holy Spirit like we always do. Holy Spirit, please come through. Help shield, guard, protect this portal while I channel divinely guided messages for my beautiful subscribers. Help me with messages that they need to hear at this divine right time. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, let's take a peek and see what energy we're working with today. Hoping everybody's had a great day. Hoping everybody's having a great week so far. The energy's looking really good. It's kind of like everybody's been kind of quiet and just watching. Everybody's just staying real observant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nobody wants to really talk really too loud about what's happening right now in the world. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard. Inner darkness. Yes, it's hard, you guys. This is... Holding a safe space, knowing patterns, releasing versus feeding. This is you releasing toxic energy from your life. And if you are in a situation which you are celebrating releasing a toxic energy from your life, congratulations, I'm so proud of you. You know what I mean? When you can say that you are free from this kind of energy, that you go from darkness to light, it's like opening up your eyes and seeing the wonder of the world for the first time. You know, you receive light pouring through you. The Holy Spirit wakes up inside of you and says enough is enough. You got to be done with this. You got to let this go. Some of you have let go of people. Some of you have let go of memories. Some of you are letting go of habits. Some of you are letting go of something um, not really toxic for you, but you're giving too much attention to it. So God's saying, I need you to focus. So some of you are being called to fast right now. Um, so there's a lot of moving energy happening right now. And it all has to do with you making a decision to let go of what no longer serves you. And I like that. I'm going to pull um, a deck I haven't used out in a while. I'm trying to circulate some of my um, some of my decks. Getting rid of old decks that I no longer resonate with. So <laughs> I'm going to be making a shopping trip on Amazon and purchasing a couple of new ones for this, this collective. So I'm pulling some old ones out of circulation and we're going to go ahead and work with these guys. And uh, then you'll see some new decks popping in in the month of January and February. Once we get into that New Year energy, I'm going to want to start fresh and pull out some new decks for you. Okay, guys? Dip into the channel fund and buy you some new decks that resonate with the New Year, I'm thinking. All right, so Holy Spirit. Talk to me about this inner darkness when it revolves around my collective. What are what are they letting go? What is it that you've asked them to do? The nine of cups coming out here. This is a lot of satisfaction for you. This is you overcoming a great obstacle and seeing a dream, seeing a wish. Um, this is receiving information from God saying that if you were to give this up, you are going to have a happier life. And this is what you're banking on. You're like, all right, I trust you. I believe in you. I'm going to balance out my energy better. I'm going to realign myself. I'm going to refocus. A lot of us are being called to refocus. Something I have been recently called to refocus on is me consuming red meat. 
I love red meat, guys. And it was really, really difficult. Like, this is the first week that I've ever given up red meat before, and I'm starting to notice a difference, you know? But I feel like it was more of me letting go of something that I thought about every day, and God's like, you need to refocus. You need to realign. I'm like, all right. He says, I don't want you eating meat anyways. I'm like, well, then two birds, one stone. And he goes, exactly. So I feel like, you are learning to juggle your energy, learning to balance your energy, learning to live one foot in the 3D, one foot in the five. It's a wide gap to make, but, but you do it. And you're, you're learning how to do this a little bit cleaner now. You were doing it before, but your emotions controlled you a lot of the time. So right now I feel like Releasing this inner darkness is helping you with controlling a lot of the energies that are coming at you. So right now you could be receiving a lot of psychic attacks. You could have a lot of people in your energy trying to be you. This could be competition at work. This could be competition in your friend groups. This could be competition in any, in any way. Just because you're nice, kind, and you shed your light on the world, somebody wants to knock you down. That's kind of the society that we live in right now. But for you, this is a lot of everybody you come across that has a demon that is irritated by you. They make your life know it. They make it difficult. There's always disagreements. There's always conflict. There is always a bitter grudge that somebody's going to have against you because you have something that they want. And that's not fair. You earned, you earned this peace. You earned this. And you're letting it go. You're letting this darkness go. You're letting the moon card go. Exactly. You're letting the anxiety, the fear, the deception you're saying, I'm tired of playing the game. I'm just going to stop playing the game. God, I'm following you. You say you've got something better for me here with this Nine of Cups. You're saying that you have a better dream that I can feed my energy into. And I'm going to balance my life out so I can carve a path. And that's exactly what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing that this was your... This was once upon a time what you had to deal with every single day. Competition, people fighting, I mean, always on the defense. I feel you were always on the defense. In the dark, always one step behind, and then bam, look at this. God carves a path. He carved a path in between the darkness for your light to shine through. For you to break through out of the chasm and into the open air. It's like you're surrounded by coal. Lots of coal. Like a mountain of coal. And it's dark and you can't breathe. And the canary cage is there with you. And you're going down in the mine and you're just being smothered and suffocated. And as you break through and climb up to the surface, the oxygen starts coming back and you're able to sing. You're able to break free. Your energy is, is going to soar. Maybe you have a canary. Maybe you have a little yellow Tweety Bird in your house. And if so, that is really, really cute. You know, I've always wanted to have a pet canary. But part of me cannot keep a pet. I, I just, part of me can't. Can't leave them alone in the house and I can't be an owner of another spirit. You know what I mean? Like I could never own a slave. I could never own another soul. I can never have ownership over something that, that I consider to be a friend, you know? <laughs> Fur babies are different, guys. Fur babies are different. I'm talking like if I had a bird in a cage, I think I would cry because I'd be like, I just want to let you out and fly around the house and I'll just deal with the bird poop. I don't care. Here, you just fly outside and come and see me every day. Now I have a bunch of wild animals that come up and see me on a daily basis and it's amazing. I don't need a... <laughs> 
I love this. You are breaking free. You were in a hermit mode, and I feel like you needed to be in this isolation for your healing. And that's where you're at right now. You're coming out of it, but you're coming out of it and staying in isolation, but in a healthier way. Not in a way that's healing, but more in a way of, let me get my, let me catch my breath. Let me resonate with what just happened. Let me go ahead and take a little bit of a down spell, a little bit of a reprieve here, and then I'm going to come back stronger for it. But right now, this is a hard time in your life that you're breaking through. And that's amazing. I want you to know that. That's amazing. A lot of you are, are breaking through glass ceilings. Saying goodbye to the enemy's game, the enemy's darkness. You're putting your enemies to bed. And you're shutting the light and closing the door and you're walking away and you're never coming back. Like, it's just, look at all of this surrounding you. And God just made a way. Just right down the middle. That's what I like to see. And I like to see this too. You coming in to complete your cycle strong. We do have the King of Wands popping up here on the bottom of the deck. So you could have been dealing with a, a masculine energy. You could be this king of wands here, this natural leader, this masculine energy that is overcoming the challenges in his life. Maybe you had another masculine energy come in and try to take your divinity away from you. Maybe you had a false um, light worker or a false flame or a false twin come into your energy and try to take your, your, your cup, try to take your crown. Whew. So what do you want to say with this God? I see where we're at. I see what we overcame. All of the challenges, all of the struggles, all of the anxiety, transmuting it like a boss and bringing about a new set of tens in your life. Look at this. You traded ten wands and all of those burdens for ten pentacles. This is a true alchemist here, a spiritual alchemist I am speaking to. And you do it like a boss. Guys, this is how you, you transmute energy. You give God everything that you don't want to deal with anymore and saying, God, please bless it and turn it back onto me in a new mission, a new project, something different for my life. You take the control of my life, God. 1010, that's you, God. And I'll follow along. You have to be willing to change in order to receive blessings. Because you have to be able to give something to God in order to receive back. Does that make sense? I hope it does. I hope it does. Now, here's what I want to do. Breaking out of darkness. And I did have to go ahead and talk about animals. And, you know, I have a feeling that a lot of you have spirit animals. Because a lot of you were defending your fur babies whenever I said those comments. So this one is for you. All right, let's get you some animal spirit oracle cards coming out here to, to uh, button up your message for you because I want you to stay firm in what you're doing. You're in the middle of a cleansing process. You are purging dark energy from your, your aura, from your spirit, from around your family. Your friend groups are being transformed. Your social circles are being transformed. People are leaving. New people are coming in. And it's all aligning with people being put in the right groups. Toxic people cannot prey on, on the anointed any longer. So let's go ahead and take a peek from our animal spirit buddies here and see what the message is. There's one. I want three, please. Three. What's one? 
Ah, and then this one that keeps sticking out that won't go back. <laughs> All right, guys, let's take a peek and see what the first one is for you. I'm not surprised. The black jaguar. Guys, this is an animal spirit meant for a royal blood. I'm talking to somebody with royal blood. You could have um, strong Egyptian backgrounds and ties. You could have strong Native American ties. Um, but I am sensing royal blood indeed. I'm actually sensing dynasty. I heard the word dynasty. Ooh. I'm not real um, sure about Asian royalties, but if I'm hearing the word dynasty, you could have come from a line of Asian kings. Ooh, interesting. I've never picked up on that before, you guys. Okay, so royal blood. If you are chosen and you are a part of this collective, you know who you are. This is a light worker channel, right? You can't deny that. <laughs> My opening speeches are and <laughs> should highlight exactly what team we work for, right? So I'm going to go ahead and read what the Black Jaguar old soul card has to say. It says, walk through your life with confidence and grace. You have the power from beyond the world. Focus on what you really want. You can create your dreams. Ooh, sound familiar here? You can create your dreams. And all you have to do, where is it? All you have to do is focus on what you really want. Give up what God is asking you to give up. Claim the blessings that God is going to give you in return. Remember, when one door closes, another door opens. Always. Ooh. And you might be giving up something that you really don't want to give up right now. I didn't want to give up stuff. I'm telling you, I didn't want to. You also have the elephant. Oh, look at that. I love elephants. I collect elephants. They're just part of my, my everyday life. And they are beautiful. They are large. They are in charge. And not many people beat them up except for toxic, negative men and women. Poachers, right? No different than being a light worker. I feel like elephants are the light workers of the animal world, you know? I don't know, something about them ever since I was a kid. Maybe you feel the same way. Let's go ahead and see what they have to say. It says, love your strength. It says, leadership is your path. Your wisdom inspires everybody you meet. You can overcome any problem. You will naturally and easily achieve success. And that came out with the King of Wands. The King of Wands has just been described with the strength of the natural leader. And if you are a natural leader and a light worker and you are chosen, you are going to be a rare energy. You are going to be out in this world and you are going to need every ounce of strength that you possess in order to be able to function. Okay, guys? Real, real important here. Keep a hold of your strength and make sure you manifest on purpose with intention and keep everything pure, everything. The thoughts that you have, the, the food and the drink that you consume, everything to do with your choices. Make sure the intent and the thought patterns behind it are pure. And your last animal spirit card, we have the majestic owl coming out here, the card of magic, right? Owls have, um, they, they get a wise kind of rap, but they are more mysterious because of their eyesight, because of the way that they can stare at you. In all honesty, owls really aren't too clever, but somewhere along the line, they have that wisdom or they've been associated with wisdom. And I think it's because um, they've been associated to uh, ha be used in hypnosis, you know, 
Owls seem to be very popular in hypnosis. I'm not entirely sure why. I'm not entirely sure why we're saying owls are, are so wise or where that actually came from. But, um, you know, I watched a documentary and they're like, owls really aren't all that smart and they, they really can't be trained. <laughs> but they always pop up as divine messengers. And I feel like that's probably where the wisdom came from. Because a messenger, a bird messenger would be wise. They would have to deliver those messages to you. Um, they could stare at you for a long time and feel like you you know what's going on. Maybe that's how they communicate through those stares, you know. But for this card, for this reading, it says choose to know the truth because you can. Open your inner vision. You can see through the deception. Let the past go and make room for a better life. Rise up. Magic and wisdom are your birthrights. Isn't that beautiful? And that is a wonderful confirmation for the very first card and the very last card to align exactly in the same category. Breaking free this encouragement, these animal spirits coming in to whisper encouraging words to people who are going through major energy shifts. Ascension paths, ascension. Owls are known to help with ascension. That's why. That's where the wisdom comes from. It's got to be. All right, so let's go ahead and button this up with some scripture. Let's take half of this and half of this. Mix it up a little bit. I mix them up anyways, but I feel like everyone's like, you only ever pull from this side. <laughs> So I'll fix it. So I'll pull from both sides. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be opening up a, um, a comment to the community asking if anybody is interested in donating scriptures to um, the channel like we did the last time. So if you are interested in scriptures on this channel and you had some scriptures that are um you know, important in your life, things that have gotten you through dark times that you want to share with the collective so that way somebody else can experience the scripture and resonate with it the way that you did. Um, I'm going to be opening that up for us to be able to share with each other and then I'll be able to put those scriptures in new cards like these and then restuff the uh, box over here for the next year coming up. And um, so I'm going to be working that on that this month in December. And I wanted to give you guys a heads up. So those of you who are still hanging out with me, um, think of some scriptures that you haven't seen on this channel that you wouldn't mind seeing on this channel. And uh, we'll be able to share with the group. A lot of these are viewer sponsored and I put little stickers on them so that way the collective knows that you had a hand in um, donating your, your special scripture to the group. First one for you today is, By His divine power, God has given us everything we need for living a godly life. We have received all of this by coming to know Him, the one who called us to Himself by means of His marvelous glory and excellence. Second Peter chapter 1, verse 3. And I really, really like this one because it says that we don't need to reach out and ask for anything to do the work that we came here to do. God gave us everything that we need in order to do our missions. And if you need money to be able to do something with your mission, um, God's going to be able to provide that money for you. Um, if you need an idea, if you need a talent, if you need a skill, you're going to awaken with all of the instructions downloaded into your brain. You're just going to be divinely led and you're going to know exactly how something is supposed to happen. Like you may not be smart at math, and then you may wake up one morning and you're like, how is it I understand quantum physics and mathematical calculations that would make geniuses scratch their heads? Like, how do I know this stuff? Some of you are waking up with just a knowing. 
Like, I don't know how I know this, but I know it. I'm, I, I can relate. I, I know exactly what that feels like. Um, not only with the Bible being afraid of the Bible and then me just waking up knowing scripture on my heart and not being able to explain why. And if you knew me before, um, this channel, I was terrified of the Bible. I wouldn't pick it up. I, it collected more dust on the shelf than anything. And now look, <laughs> I say, God, I'm going to need your help with the scripture because I'm afraid of the scripture because I don't want to interpret it wrong. And I, I've stayed away from reading the Bible for so long because of it. He goes, boom. I woke up one morning. I was like, what is going on? How do I know all of this? And it was like, God's like, you asked. And I'm getting you ready for your job. I was like, okay. <laughs> so don't worry. God is going to provide you with every single thing you need in order to do your missions in order to live the the dream that you want to live and as long as you're giving God your obedience and doing the things that he's asking you to do he's leading you in a path that goes right to your dream and sometimes it may be hard but every path in life is hard I have not looked on one timeline that didn't experience some kind of trials or tribulations and it seems like the more anointed and the more holy the person that I channel, the harder their path, the harder their trials and tribulations seem to be. The more evil the person, the more smooth and easy and relaxing his path or her path may be. Did you ever wonder why that is? It's because the devil is not going to make life hard for you. When it comes to doing what you're not supposed to do, God's going to make it very comfortable for you to live in sin. He's going to put a gilded cage around you, but a gilded cage is still a gilded cage. Let that canary out, you know. <whistles> Didn't think that was going to pop up. Oh, here we go. Viewer sponsored. See, this was one from our collective that was donated special for this channel. Meant something to this individual. Thank you to whoever donated this scripture. The scripture is, I call on the Lord in my distress and he answers me. Save me, Lord, from lying lips and from deceitful tongues. Psalm chapter 120, verse 1 through 2. Isn't that a beautiful scripture to remind you that you are breaking free of all sorts of toxic nonsense. God is saving you from lying lips and deceitful tongues. And he's answering you. This picture, this face being held up, when you stare up into the sky and you're just closing your eyes and you're just feeling I feel like somebody reaches out to God in prayer like this. Like they just throw their head back and they're like, Whoa. God, do you see me? God, can you take this pain off of me? I need to give this to you and I don't know how. And that's all you got to do is just come to him and say, I don't know how. And he's like, let me show you. <laughs> and your angels are going to touch you and they're going to take that energy off of you and they're going to give it to God for you. Oh, so Psalm 120, chapter 1 through 2. Ooh, I love it. I love it. Okay, last scripture. It says, For the word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even into dividing souls and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and the attitude of the heart. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. And this is saying that when God whispers on your heart, if he sends you a scripture, for instance, that touches you in such a way that you break free or you are able to resonate with it and you are um, free from that, that's saying that the word of God can split the great evil divide with just the light. God can do that. God can carve paths. God can split the seas. God can make a way. God can tell the mountain to move and it'll move. The word of God 
is alive and active. And the reason we say that is because it's happening in your life. You are seeing the evidence of God carving a path and separating the evil from you so you can break free out of this inner darkness. God makes a way for you. And that's how these scriptures work in your life. That's how scripture is supposed to work. When you hear God's voice resonate with you, it changes everything. And that's from Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12. Oh, guys, I feel it, but you're doing it. You're doing it. It may feel like your, your obnoxious uncle just threw you in a swimming pool without any floaties on, and you have no idea how to swim, and you're in the deep end, and he's holding the beer and laughing at you going, ha, 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 yeah, he'll figure it out. And you're like, oh, my gosh. Like, I feel like it's that kind of energy, you know? And you're, you, you feel like you're drowning, but you know you can swim. And then somewhere along the line, God moves your feet for you. And you just doggy paddle to the surface and you break free and you get that gulp of air. And that's this. You're breaking free out of darkness. Your karmic uncle threw you in the pool, but... Damn it all, you learned how to swim, didn't you? Hey, if the enemy is going to give you nonsense, you're going to go ahead and turn it into your good. And that's a promise from God that he will always help you out. So God's going to kick your feet for you and keep you afloat. Don't you worry about a thing. It hurts right now. It's scary right now what you're going through. There's a lot of tears, a lot of answers, a lot of questions, even more questions than answers. Um, but you're doing it. Don't stop now. Keep going. You are doing it. And I can't wait to see your energy just lighten up in the new year for you. You're on your way. You're well there. God is separating the pack from you. No enemy is touching you right now. You have the very best of animal spirit cards out here for royalty, for strength and leadership, and for knowing and discerning the truth and manifesting a better life. Ooh, guys, beautiful message. So no matter where you are in the world, you guys, just keep fighting Keep letting this crap go. And if you need encouragement every day, you come to this channel and we'll breathe that life into you. We support the light workers here. And I'm proud of you. So just keep going. Don't stop. No matter what, don't give in. Don't stop. Don't quit just because it's too hard. Because I am testifying that there is light on the other side of this. I've seen it. Many others have gone through this. It is your turn to break through this glass ceiling. And I know you can do it. You're already there. You're already through the glass ceiling. You're just looking down now and you're like, oh, it's really high up here. I don't want to fall. Don't look down. Just keep going. Keep climbing. Keep paddling those feet. Okay? And you're going to make it. I promise you, you're going to make it. Just keep good. Keep fighting the good fight, no matter where you are in the world. Take care. God bless.